Hello everybody, this is the Love Yourself Guru and welcome to the Love Yourself TV. Today we're going to be doing a video on unnecessary thinking. Okay, so let's begin. Now the definition of unnecessary thinking is indulging in thoughts that don't benefit you, thoughts that create pain and anxiety. Now, when you really begin to love yourself, you really begin to realize that you, uh, your mind, um, you have to be in control of your mind. And the more clear, okay, and productive your thoughts are, the more, the happier and the more productive and successful, God willing, your life will be. And a, a, if you have a lot of unnecessary thinking, okay, then the more cluttered your mind will be, the more inner turmoil you'll experience and the more pain you'll experience. Now, one example of um, un, 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 unnecessary thinking is worry. And there are different types of worry, but one that really does align with unnecessary thinking. And when you love yourself, you really try to get out of the habit of this type of worry is worrying about the future. Now, worrying in general is always, it is mostly about the future, mostly about the future. But this type of worrying is about the future and it's thinking, it's, it's indulging in thoughts, okay, unnecessary thinking, indulging in thoughts about problems that don't even exist, about things that don't even exist. And what your mind will do to, to you is it will throw a thought out there and then you will interact with your mind, you'll, you'll, you'll hold on to that thought and then you'll create a story out of it and I remember before I started loving myself I can associate with all of you out there that are actually in the habit it's only a habit of unnecessary thinking because I used to be I used to do that I could spend hours my mind would throw a fear thought at me and I would just take that thought and then I would make a whole story out of it and it ended up it caused me so much anxiety and pain and um, I, I, I really realized that I had to stop I had to stop thinking and un, un, unnecessary thoughts. I had, I had, to, I had to eliminate it from my life, and, and and I and I did do that, and I started to experience a lot of happiness and joy. Thank God. So unnecessary thinking is when this time is really when you, 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 you are worrying about problems that don't even exist and you create a whole story about it and the reason why they're unnecessary is because they don't even exist the only moment you'll ever live is in the present moment and when you're you're thinking about problems that don't even exist in the future you're actually you're experiencing because you're experiencing and you're thinking about something that, that may not ever happen so it's really a waste of your time and a waste of your energy. Also, your body, when you think thoughts, okay, so when, when it's positive, your body reacts to that, okay, and then you experience positive emotions. And it's almost as if your body is saying to you, look, you're aligned with your true self. These thoughts are working for you. So I'm going to now, you're going to create I'm going to create positive emotions for you to let you know that these thoughts are good. When you experience negative emotions, it's like your body saying to you, right, these thoughts aren't in line with your true self. And these thoughts are creating fear for me. And this is the emotion that you're feeling. So, so your, your, your body doesn't know whether the thoughts you, you're thinking exist or don't exist. They don't know that what you're participating in is illusion. It doesn't know that. It just knows whether the thoughts are positive or negative and it will act accordingly. So you really, and then so when, so when your body, when you think these thoughts, when you indulge in unnecessary thinking, you are thinking about problems that don't even exist. Your body doesn't know that they don't exist. Okay, so it creates negative emotions. When you create negative emotions, you put yourself in a very negative vibration. And then when you're in a negative vibration, you attract people and experiences in alignment with that vibration. So even though you're thinking about problems that don't even exist and they probably, 
God willing, they'll never exist, but you're still putting yourself in a negative vibration. So you're attracting other, other negative things. And it's just so unnecessary because you can spend that time, that time actually thinking beautiful thoughts and thinking even about the future and contemplating on beautiful things, which will create beautiful emotions and put you in a beautiful vibration, God willing. It's all in your hands. Okay, so what do you do? Let's say if you've got into a habit of unnecessary thinking, which is, okay, in this video we're discussing about worrying, a type of worrying is which when you indulge in thoughts that um, problems that haven't even, they don't even exist. Okay, so you're participating in an illusion. What do you do? Well, this is what I did. Okay, this is what I did. Every to get myself out of the habit, because it's just a habit. It's just a habit. Good news is it's a habit and you can get out of it, God willing. You just have to have the intention to, 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 to get out of it and you have to want to get out of it. So it's just a habit. So what I did was I, um, I decided that every time my mind would throw a thought at me and then I would start to indulge in a story, okay? I would ask myself this question, is what I'm thinking, is what I'm worrying about, yes, is what I'm worrying about, is it happening now? And 99.99999% of the time, it wasn't happening now. It was a, it was a made up problem in the future. Um, that I'll probably never experience. And as soon as I acknowledge that it's not happening now, it's not it's not happening now, I would say to myself, all right, I don't want to make a story out of it. And then if, if because at the beginning, you're so, in, you get into the habit of making these stories, I would actually make a positive story out of it. So I would make a whole movie out of, uh, a, a, turn it into a positive outcome. So you ask yourself, is what, I'm worrying about, is it happening now? If it's not happening now, I refuse to interact with it and make it into a story. If I do want to make a story, if I'm, I'm, I'm in the habit of making a story, I'm gonna make it a positive one. And I'm going to create, God willing, positive emotions. Now let's say 99.999% of the time, what I was worrying about was a prediction of the future that didn't even exist, but like that 0.1% is actually happening now. I didn't have time to worry because then I would ask myself, okay, is what I'm worrying about, can I solve it? And if it's solvable, what can I do to solve it? And if it's not solvable, then I'm not even gonna focus on it. God willing, God willing, God willing, it will fix itself. So it's really getting to the habit of saying no to unnecessary thinking because you don't want a cluttered mind, you don't want a cluttered life, and you don't want to live your days with inner turmoil. If, you, if your mind throw this thought at you, ask, is what I'm worrying about? Yes, is it happening now? If it's not happening now, then refuse to interact with it. If you do want to interact with that thought, create a positive story, create a beautiful outcome, and then experience wonderful uh, emotions. And it's just a matter of time. I think honestly, it took me a couple of months. Once I learned the tool of asking myself, is what I'm worried about happening now? Okay, and if it wasn't happening now, like I said, I didn't, but I stopped participating in it, or I started to create nice stories about the thought that was thrown at me. If it was happening now, I would ask myself, what's it, can I, can I solve it? And if I can solve it, how can I solve it? And I would work on that instead of focusing on the problem, I would focus on the solution. Um, and if I couldn't solve it, I thought, well, that's it. I'm not going to focus on it because God willing, it will just solve itself. Um, and then it took me a couple of months to really get myself into that habit of, of that way of thinking. And then I, I promise you, within a couple of months, my life became so much more uncluttered. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm going to admit to you now, I really don't participate in unnecessary thinking. I'm being perfectly honest with you. I do not participate in unnecessary thing and I don't worry about problems that I very rarely worry to be honest I don't worry about problems that um make make believe problems illusions of the future I don't even go there anymore I don't go there anymore and, and I make sure that my thoughts 
are in a state, uh, are happy thoughts and I create happy stories. Um, and I make sure that I put myself in a constant, God willing, um, happy vibration. And if, because you're not perfect, if for instance, I go on track, I straight away, I snap out of it and I ask myself, okay, is what I'm worrying about? It, 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 is it happening now? And then I just get myself out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope, God willing, God willing, God willing, I pray that you, you, you get out of the habit of um, participating in unnecessary thinking and really start to think thoughts that are going to benefit you, thoughts that work for you and thoughts that God willing that are going to create beautiful emotions and which create appropriate beautiful behaviours which God willing will create your beautiful reality. Kindly hit the subscribe button if um, to my channel and if you like my video kindly hit uh, the like button and i will see you my beautifuls in the next video i love you loads have a brilliant beautiful absolutely amazing day